everybody, this is your girl Kana and today I'm out, I'm pink, I'm literally a baby right now and I need something to eat because I am hungry. Oh, wow. Hello. Okay. Don't do it down. Eh? Fine, how are you, Angie? <laughs> <laughs> Wilson, yes. Wilson. Guys, meet Wilson. Um, so we are going to be having chicken, I think. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I, rep I I present to you the New African village. New African village, yes, and they have every single piece of chicken that you could ever want. I uh, and chips. Yeah, and chips, <laughs> or the ones that you can call fries. It's just potatoes. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I think I will be having that because I'm starving. Uh, um, mm. Okay, okay. okay. Um, this I think. Yeah, let's do this. So guys, I'm going to be like having a thigh. No, not thigh. Wing. <laughs> and like this place they sell every kind of chicken and uh I remember like we used to come this side eh? and when we were young and uh, how I learned even like to cross the road it was because of this place seriously and once a lady came at our home she was our mother's friend and she said that oh nari vakusomero and then she literally gave me like uh, 1000 to go and buy something to eat and when I went I came back and she had already left so I knew where she was and she worked from here and I decided oh, I can I cannot stand I cannot stand smoke. I literally decided to come and bring her to balance down. And it was so nice. That is how I learned how to do But anyways, uh how can I get this? How much is this? Uh, Alright. Can I get one? Mm. So guys, how are you doing? How are you? I um it's it's too much sun here. Like seriously, it's too much sun. And I'm melting if I was if I was cheese I'll be melted. It has been raining since forever and today like it's crazy that we are getting this much sun it's like it didn't it has not been raining at all and do you guys see like all this chicken and the place is nice it's clean it's good uh, if you're ever here like it's the best place to have chicken from yeah you're on your tours and everything once I brought here like a friend of mine uh, yeah I'm from New York and we, he, he just needed something to eat like nothing exaggerated or something like that and I told him do you know what this is the best place ever so we, I brought him here and he literally had the chicken and he was like oh my god this is so good and it was good and if you see me doing this like I'm literally saluting <sighs> my glasses were lost so we have not, nobody to blame for that, but yeah, I have nothing to do about it right now. And across the street, let me show you, across the street is... Oh, All right. Across the street is like uh, the... What's it called? It's the... Our Entebbe General Hospital, like, where every... Yeah. That 
that is the hospital and they bring like people here casualty blah 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 all that yeah i'm not going to take you inside because i don't like hospitals and i have been in enough hospitals to know that i don't like them <laughs> uh okay let me get my bag before i forget about this and let me take you inside so that we can talk as i get something to eat because why not why not join me uh, yesterday I got like a lot of replies from a lot of people. Why oh, here? Uh, <laughs> the Bambi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right. Hey, but now because we never take a move to Hey. Hello. Hello. No, let Oh, <laughs> Mm. All right, all right, all right. Hey, freestyle. All right. Mm. All right. Start. Mm. No. Tamu, 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 I love it. Okay, that was such an. It was a funny bit. What Oh, 
Alright guys, so this is West Black. Yeah. I like you. Oh, it's a Ghana. Ghana, yes. Ah, guys, that was so so nice. I enjoyed every single minute of it, and um, the people are lovely as always. And I love these moments when I just get to make to meet new people, uh, make friends, yeah, things like that. Because and my my hand is shaking. Oh, anyways, today. Today I don't have that much energy. But all in all, hi. <laughs> Alright guys, right after that episode of literally singing with strangers. <laughs> it was so nice. Um, he was such a lovely person. And uh, he reminds me so much of, <clears throat> of uh, my uncle. Yeah. We used to get along. Unfortunately, he's not, he's not with us. He is with the angels, but very nice. So let me tell you literally a story of how I learned how to cross the road for the first time. So if you have known us, it's like our family like is close and our mother is the most protective mother. Though she doesn't, though that does not hinder us from like going out in the world and um just experiencing new things but when we were growing up she like she encourages us to go out and experience new things but it's like she is usually uh uh she's very protective and she, she is the kind of person who would be like uh where are you by seven if like we are out and seven hits she would be calling us where are you why when are you coming back that kind of thing yeah so when i was still in school i remember i was um in primary four yeah anyways i remember that she uh i went back at home and i had come from school i was young and all of that i think 10 years and uh she like she she had her friend yeah she had come to visit and all of that and her friend uh works close to this place and she would call this place is called like cement cemetery which means in our language literally means concrete the concrete so anyways but then it like it, that's the nickname and it has like a, a name of its own which is the new african village so uh when when she when this friend of my mother's like uh i came back at home from school i was hungry and she was like oh kana let me give you some money so that you can go and buy like something to eat when i went she gave me like one thousand and when i went to buy something to eat like for 500 she i i stayed with the change and when i went back at home from the shop 
she she was not there and then when i asked around they were like oh she went and oh my god it, i felt so bad that she went and she was like kind to me and she did not take like her trans uh, her um balance or change whatever you call it some people call it balance some people call it change what do you think the right word is for that anyways <clears throat> so she goes and I literally decided to go and oh my food is here thank god thank you <laughs> 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 Let us see the poor girl and I in the quad video. Come and call an answer, sir. Oh, I'm for me, Joe. For you, yes, for love. Really, Simon. Okay, So guys, as I was telling you after like I'm going to eat this and it's so good. Um literally I, I thought about it and I think by that time it was six something and it was getting dark and my mind literally told me that oh you know what I can take the money to her because I knew where she was but I, the only issue is that we I had to cross the road the main road and our cars run like nobody's business so Hi hey guys, before I literally eat this whole food, let me show you what I'm going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, why not? Water, maybe, or soda. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, soda will be good. Um, uh, no, no, vida. Or pineapple? Still, when I'm not. Vida or there is. Oh, okay. Alright, thank you. Alright. So I decided they had like just come for my drink. I decided to literally go and take the money to her and for the first time that is how I learned how to cross the road. And I was almost hit by a car. But I survived because I was running like flash in that road. But that is how. And I went and took the money to her. And then, surprisingly, she told me that, oh no, 
Kana, you should have not brought back the money. It was yours, and I was like, oh, I almost died just because I wanted to be a good person. Huh. Mm. But sometimes you have nothing to do about that. So guys, <clears throat> my drink is here and I'm gonna be having like soda. Soda is not my favorite thing to have because because I, I I'm not a fan I only have it on special occasions and I guess today is my special occasion and this this soda literally tastes like pineapple like pineapple I do not get it um, we have a lot of types of sodas here that I guess like the western culture does not have because when these people come this side they one thing that i see a lot of in fact all of them pack to take back at home is soda tell me your secret for those of you who have literally come to uganda and you have packed soda why but seriously why And this one has like a lot of foil, but Novida, do you have it in your country? Because um, um, like the ones I have interacted with, they always tell me that no, we don't have this kind of soda, we don't have that, we don't have this, we don't have that, and I'm like, okay. And I remember the one thing they told me is that they don't have like the apple flavor. Crazy. I thought they had everything. At least in those days, I, I thought they had everything. I'm eating with my hands as if I don't have like a fork. Let me stop being a savage. I could be here and my Prince Charming could be on this show, literally watching my channel, and then be like, oh my god, that girl is such a savage, she eats with her hands. Yeah. <laughs> let me get off and let me finish this food without being interrupted because I don't like eating as I speak and then I will get back to you and maybe we can take a little walk though I'm in hills so wish me luck <laughs> right after that very good food now that I am full I need to move or I will just fall asleep <laughs> all right um so i have been thinking about uh, uh i remember the time uh i was told that um, i was told that uh in the western culture or in the western community they are not very inclined if like <laughs> Hello. Ah, let us see kind of good job. Ah, garage dog. Yeah. Anyways, um, uh, I was told in the Western culture, like, 
I was no in when I was eating my food I thought about how, like how we are so different you get me once I was having a conversation I don't know if like it's the same thing with you guys but anyway it's correct me if I'm wrong once I was having a conversation and uh, with a man he was from France yeah so I met him like through a friend in fact I was at my friend's place and he was there at the restaurant huh? and yeah he was like oh you 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 speak good english kana so i love that and he had like known found a lot of people who we uh who like could have a full conversation in english with him <laughs> so he was like oh we should get some time and like talk so once he invited me to a meal and we talked like the conversation was very very long and he was talking about oh that so we were talking about like the west and then like and then african countries and all of that and then i i was saying that maybe the whites you get me like i was referring to the way uh, western uh uh people and i'm like me and in my conversation sometimes i would be like maybe like the whites are doing this and then doing that and then like the blacks are doing this and then doing that and then he was like blacks whites why why do you use that and then he went on to say that no we we we, sh we are not we should not be saying like blacks or whites and then i said i asked how then what how are we going to like uh differentiate between them you get me and then he literally he was shutting down the conversation of literally being a difference between us which i do understand that uh in my opinion i do understand that uh we are all humans you get me but when I thought about it really, the reason why it's really not something that could uh, bother me or something like that, though a lot of people like, uh, some people in his case, he would have been like, oh, that's offensive, that's offensive, you get me that thing. But then when I think about it really, I think, I think the world has made these things to, to like sound bad at the end of the day you get me because the only thing i think we should be concentrating about is yeah we have like our similarities and the similarities the thing that makes us like similar is that we have red blood we are all humans and so we should treat every single person around us very well you get me we should treat them with kindness we should treat them with compassion all of those things because they are literally the basic requirements of a human being but no mm -mm. people are not understanding that and so they are removing i saw with this with what he was telling me it's like he wanted to remove our differences in order to what i don't know anyways in my opinion i do really think that uh our differences make us unique our differences make us who we are do you get me and one of like the difference that i have from uh, from other people is that maybe my color you get me so if 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 anybody were to call me black it's not an insult so i don't get why he was offended every time i said white and black because that was how I saw the differences and our differences make us unique anyways correct me if I'm wrong so let me uh, because we are talking about differences let me tell you about every single difference no not every single difference but let's talk about like how we are different at least how Ugandans are a little different from yeah the west the uh white people i have met so i was told that in the like in the western community they uh you when you're talking to somebody you need to look them in the eyes 
is that true i do not know but it's the second time i have had it and ever since i had it like such a long time ago i started like having conversations while looking people in the eyes if i'm like talking to a white person which is which is like such a difference from me because in our in our culture and in our like traditions it is considered uh, impolite or rude to like speak to somebody especially if they are an elder and you're looking them straight in the eyes like why are you making eye contact with me like that huh yes I, I am talking about that kind of thing why are you making eye contact <laughs> so yeah we do usually if you're speaking to somebody and maybe they are a, a, an elder or what yeah don't don't look them straight in the eyes yeah i sometimes i i also don't look myself in the eyes i just found out my eye color recently and it's brown and a white person had to tell me that because they look you straight in the eyes like this it's crazy anyways uh another thing is that wow so many cars Another thing, wait, do you hear that? Guys, I'm going to show you something. When we were young, because I'm literally in the neighborhood that I used to live in, and when we were young, we used to have, oh, we used to have springs, natural springs, and they would pass by in this area. Oh my God, can I see them? Okay, I'm going in there. <laughs> They're somewhere here. And I can hear them. <gasps> can you hear them? Ooh, I'm in heels and I should not be doing this at all. But I'm showing you. Alright. Listen. Do you see them? there anyways I'm close to the botanical garden so and I'm wearing heels so that is also like not fun <laughs> and guys after those springs like these days it's raining so much so that's why we are get we are like seeing an, a lot of springs natural springs and another thing that we are like <clears throat> different from like uh, our greeting yeah when I was like we are not used to that we are not the kinds of people who like greet with hugs and all that uh, two cheeked peck <laughs> two cheeked peck that's stupid anyways uh, so we, we, we in, in Uganda when we are greeting we, we kneel down like you kneel down both knees and if you're greeting your mother usually with the boys they they can overlook the greeting thing with kneeling you can greet somebody without kneeling but if you're greeting like your mother you you can kneel unless you have your issues with the boys yeah i'm talking about the boys but my brother kneels so yeah i think that's fine but with the girls we kneel we have to kneel down and greet if we are greeting an elder anybody anybody like elder to us so when i was like that that took like some time to get used to having to greet like elder people without kneeling especially if you if you, if i found like people from like whites and all of that because they don't they don't kneel so and you have to be like when in rome you get me when you're interacting with a certain group of people you're like you have to do uh to maybe like do their thing so that like you can lessen the awkwardness yes so i would 
when I I remember like the first person I met and I was interacting with them and they were like so much older than me literally somebody who could be like my father or something like that and it was so hard for me not to kneel I I literally felt my my feet like my knees start to itch just because I was not doing something I, I was supposed to do because here when you find an elder you kneel and greet them and especially if you know them eh? you kneel and greet them so it was crazy it really was crazy but yeah we kneel while we greet people I don't know what you guys do tell me about it Hmm. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we have like a lot of differences in our lives and I think the one thing we should not be like always offended about like oh you're talking about my color as long yeah we, we don't have to arrest our colors to be in order to be included because I think that our colors are the ones that make us like unique yeah they make us so unique and I love being called black so in my family I remember when I was still young uh, they would call me that oh the black beauty yes with my sisters and that is how like they would tell us apart or they would always be like oh she's the oh this girl is so beautiful she's a black beauty you get me and I was so proud of that I was I always had that in me and I, I would be like oh so with all my sisters I at least I have the black beauty because when I was still young Faith was very very active and loud and yeah so she was liked by everybody and i was very quiet so but then i had like the one thing that i always had was that the black beauty so i loved every single minute of it so in uh, when i was still young i was much darker than this and when i grew up the more i grew up like my skin lightened up something that hurt me in those times but these days i am fine with myself and uh as it was changing i felt sad i really felt sad i was like oh my god my black beautiness is going away <laughs> so yeah anyways right now i love i love uh if 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 i'm called black that is literally what i am i'm black and i never got what uh this person that i was talking to uh, why, why he was like so offended by oh we are not white black what's the difference yes there is the difference because our colors make us different but the only thing that we always have to remember is that we are similarly humans we all have red blood and i think that it, that should just be enough to give us the push to be good people to every single person every single race every single color but we, without without deleting or erasing our differences because our differences are, are what makes us human and are what makes us like unique if we were living in a world where every single person was the same like you cannot even point out like oh or you cannot differentiate them be true, uh, because of their differences then i think that world will be would be sad and and colorless so guys that was it for the day tell me more differences that you know i know i know more but i'm running out of time and i need to like be somewhere uh do not forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell to get notified every single time i will be posting videos and thank you for like taking this journey with me i hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, do not forget to like continue to comment i love comments <laughs> they make my day bye bye loves love you